Hey Great Dramas, today I'm having a look at the phenomenal Abelauer Abuna. Um, one that's incredibly close to my heart, on that side, because um, it is, you know, a superb whiskey for a start, you know, Spanish Ol 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 Oloroso Sherry Buds maturation, um, bottled straight from the cast, 60.7%. This is actually batch 54, and the bottle given to me by Abelau themselves when last year, 2016, I was inducted into the Abuna Collective, um, which is a way of them recognizing people within the industry who are big fans of the uh, distillery, big fans of what Abelau does in general, big fans of what Shivers Brothers does in general, who owns Abelau. Um, but crucially, huge fans of this product. So we went up and had a, a lovely trip up to the distillery. There's about 10 of us, I believe. Um, and we, you know, toured the distillery, had tastings, um, rode on the Argo Cats, those crazy kind of multiple, many wheeled machines that can go up any terrain. So we went down the River Spey, having a quick look. And then we had a, it's actually the first time I wore a kilt at the dinner that night where we uh, had a proper ode to the haggis and the whole ceremony and had a stunning meal in the distillery itself, hosted by Alex, their brand ambassador. Um, yeah, I can't speak even more highly than this. I absolutely love the product, the brand, and I'm honored to be one of their Avalau Collective uh, inductees. So, um, should we get on with this? You're probably bored of me talking by now. We'll go into Avalau and the Collective much more detail <coughs> in another video coming up. So brace yourself. Boom. The nose, punchy, fierce, happy, all these kind of things. It is just awesome. You get that sherry blast right in your nostrils. A little bit of a sting, because it is 60%, remember? 60.7. A little bit nutty, quite fruity, lots of dark fruits going on, as you'd expect from a uh, cast strength uh, sherry matured whiskey. Pencil shavings, almost piney kind of notes going on there. Underneath it, though, you've still got this kind of subtle honeyed sweetness, um, just holding it all together and making it not just too erratic. Even at 60.7% ABV, that is awesome. You know, it doesn't make you wince, doesn't make you think, holy Christ, what the hell am I drinking? It is so well balanced, so well rounded. Getting a bit of heat, sure, we do expect that. That's what high ABV does. Getting a little bit of heat, adding a lot of spices on the mid to back palate. Um, oh. A slightly medium, almost too short a finish, if anything. Maybe that's just because I'm really excited and didn't take much in at that time. But let's add just a little bit of water, if I may. So I have inelegantly cut that with about 30% water now. So you can probably see starting to cloud over slightly. Um, you probably won't be able to see on the video because you need to be really close up to see stuff like this, but all the kind of enzyme ribbons of flavor opening up now that you've added water. That's what happens when you add water to high ABV whiskies that are non-chill filtered. The, all the flavor compounds just suddenly wake up again. Oh, hello. So with water then this one on the nose, Getting quite an earthy note, a kind of subtle um, horseradishy note. Tons more fruit, like loads and loads and loads of fruit on this guy. Almost an Earl Grey tea note as well. And it gets sweeter the more you nose it. So on the palate this time, it opens up, it's thicker, much, much thicker, now it's all opened up. 
and you're getting tons more fruit, lots of dark fruits, lots of kind of softer sweet notes kind of just wrapping around and a little bit of vanilla um, but not much, maybe it's not even vanilla, maybe it's buttery, almost butterscotchy actually, now I'm thinking about it a bit more and analysing it a little bit more. Oh, that's lovely. I could sit and will sit here for a while with this guy. Not even pour myself a second, great drivers. What I would do, if I were you, I would head to Waitrose or any of the other supermarkets that stock Abuna or Amazon. Especially if you're on Amazon Prime, you can get a bottle of this delivered to you first thing tomorrow morning. Don't have it in the morning, wait till 11 a.m. We're not animals. We are not animals. Um, and enjoy, because this is just brilliant. Every batch varies slightly. I'm actually looking at a shelf in my office where I've got a batch uh, 32. I think that's the oldest one I've got. Um, 32, this is 54, and then there's a 57 behind it as well. Um, you know, just pick up whichever batch is available, because all of them will be knockout. And I really want to hear your thoughts on this one. What do you think about the uh, distillery? If you've got any thoughts about it. But what do you think about this product? Please leave a comment below. I'd really appreciate that. And I'll respond to every single one. Cheers. Until next time.